Well, uh, just for your info there, Will, I've just started the uh, just started the video, and <clears throat> yeah, you were asking me what the local repeater is. The local one is Gunthorpe. It's uh, WJ. Um, I can I can hit that fairly okay from here. Um, I don't have any HF kit here whatsoever. I've got uh, a Upatero scanner, which uh, which does you know pretty much zero to daylight um, on all modes. It's a pretty good bit of kit by all accounts, but nothing that I'll transmit on HF. Um, and all of my analog kit is either sold, gone, or out of action for one reason or another. All I'm left with now really is the tatty bits of kit that nobody would want and would fetch a very bad price if I attempted to sell it. So. I've uh, held on to it until I can get it sorted out and then I'll probably put that on eBay too. Um, so yeah, that's all there is here at the minute. Um, I'm going to have to resell the uh, battery for the FT60 and then uh, I'll actually be able to work through the local repeater again and uh, do a bit of analogue work too. secure a console here uh, showing what it will do and I'm also showing a secure remote interface tool as well you'll see that but basically I can bring up the display I can well, it's quite hard to dis describe actually the secure handheld it's an SRP 2000 and I've put that into the uh, cradle on this uh, on this desktop console so because it's in the console I'm using an external hand microphone and when you speak I'm listening to you through 
the loudspeaker on the console rather than the radio speaker. Um, the handheld is being charged up by the console because the console is plugged into mains power. Um, but if I wanted I could pull the mains power from it and it would just run from the internal battery. It would continue to run and charge the superior handheld. Um, also on the hands-free car cradle it's connected via serial to the PC and on the PC I'm using a uh, remote interface tool um, so everything that's on the Supura handheld display is currently on my PC display um, and I can, uh, I can control the volume level by just scr scrolling my mouse wheel if I click my mouse wheel once um, Oh, sorry. No, it's the uh, it's the right mouse button. Um, I can go back to the sort of home dis. Oh, sorry about that. It uh, it declicked. It, it untransmitted, if you like. I can hit the down button anyway, like I've just done now, and uh, scroll down to the uh, the home display on the on the radio, the normal display that you'd get. Um, I can hit down again and get the uh, various menus up um, you know scroll through things like the uh, text messages and stuff like that um, I can use the keyboard to send the text messages through it um, you know add phone book entries um, sort out the settings all this sort of stuff um, enable the backlight change the status operating mode like trunk mode and direct mode um, there's the read report and delivery report, uh, cards, GPS, uh, I can set the time on it, uh, alerts enabled, not enabled. This is all stuff that's set within the handle, I could change all that anyway. Um, what else can it do? Gucci little things can we do here? Um, I can change the talk group with the mouse, um, all sorts of stuff. I can transmit with the mouse, like if I press and hold the left hand mouse key, the uh, the handheld will go into transmit so uh, it does quite a lot of Gucci stuff really and I'm just showing that at the minute so uh, that's the setup this side at this time will have been uh, a remote desktop Tetra terminal uh, rather than somebody it's, it's the sort of thing that uh, a team would have taken to a football ground most football grounds especially the large ones have a sort of control room if you like a central CCTV um, room that the police will use to coordinate all the efforts outside and this is the sort of thing that they would have used there. Um, this one's got a, a Ministry of Defence Police sticker on the top of it. Um, 
as far as I know, I haven't done too much research into this because I'm not really that interested to be honest with you, but as far as I know, the Ministry of Defence Police um, look after the UK's nuclear deterrents. Uh, so that's one of their jobs and um, this unit appears to have come from them, it's got one of their stickers on the top anyway. Um, but it's just a, it's a handy bit of kit, rather than me using a handheld all the time from its own battery, which does frag my batteries quite a lot because you know I'm always connected to this, so I'm always running the, uh, the batteries flat and having to recharge them. And rather than having to swap batteries all the time and all this sort of stuff, I can just leave the handheld in the console and it keeps it topped up. Um, it's also a little bit more convenient having the hand mic that, you know, when I'm finished with it I can just hook it up out of the way and it's just a fairly neat solution really, it's just a neat bit of kit. I think the box is a bit excessive, um, the box didn't need to really be that as big as it is. It's not exactly crammed tight full in there but um, it's a solid good bit of kit really. Um, like I was saying before, when I first got it, it didn't work at all. Um, but with a bit of uh, minor surgery, it's uh, sprung back into life, so I'm quite pleased with it, really. Yeah, okay, there you go. It's working very well for you, anyway. Um, it's different, anyway, I've certainly, yeah. Uh, you're not seeing anyone else using it. I'm kind of kicked uh, around with the bank, so... Mm. Yeah, you know, it's funny now, so about the, um, the two uh, most lower terminals. Um, or the one lower terminal and the uh, long THR9 as well. I could say the, uh, the Motorola one, D700. Um, a friend of mine used one years and years. Yep, no dramas mate. Well, um, I'm going to end the video here because uh, people, will, uh, people will be getting bored. I think I've demonstrated uh, what it does here. 